Today's video is sponsored by Sheet Music Plus, a great website with sheet music from any genre you could possibly want. Click the link down in the description below and enter in the word love at checkout and you get $15 off your order. How about that? In the meantime, stick around. We got a great video coming for you. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and we're back with more videos answering the question, now what? These videos are aimed at new musicians and those that want to start their musical journey. In this first video of five, we'll be exploring what to look for in a new guitar, both acoustic and electric. Please bear in mind, this is meant for beginners with limited knowledge and a limited budget. Got your wallet ready? Let's invest in your rock god dreams. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Before we get into details, I'd like to shout out schoolofrock.com for some of the useful information you'll see here and on many of the other videos. There are actually three types of guitars you can buy, but for the purposes of this video, we'll stick to electric and acoustic. Which type should you get? That depends on what's important to you. The advantages of an electric guitar are they're easier to play than acoustic or classical. Uh, they're available in many sizes, making them perfect for young players. They're versatile, capable of producing a variety of tones. Used frequently in most popular styles of music nowadays. And with the amplifier, you can be, they can be set to play it as loud or as soft as desired. The disadvantages of an electric guitar they require some additional accessories, such as an amplifier and connector cable, in order to achieve a full sound. The advantages of an acoustic guitar does not require additional amplification. Uh, it can be amplified with a removable pickup. A lot of them have a built-in one. Uh, there's a bright sound that is great for playing chords. And you get a better first instrument using money saved by not needing an amp. The disadvantages of an acoustic guitar is that many models require additional equipment installed to plug into an amp or sound system, making it tougher to be heard while playing with a band. Uh, there's a limited range of sounds and tones, and uh, they require thicker strings, making it harder to play for a beginner. Also, some short scale and beginner models are poorly made. Once you've decided on which type of guitar you'd like, there are some key things to look for when picking out the one for you. They include, does the guitar stay in tune? Is the guitar neck straight? How far are the strings from the fretboard? Can you comfortably reach the entire fretboard? One more important thing to talk about is the guitar's size. There are generally three sizes to look out for. Uh, they are half size with a 34 inch neck, perfect for 5 to 7 year olds, 3 quarter size with a 36 inch neck, perfect for 7 to 10 year olds, and full size with a 40 inch neck, perfect for ages 11 and on up. If you haven't tried playing guitar at all, a word of warning. Your fingertips are going to hurt for a while. You'll be building up a brand new set of calluses in a place you've never had to before. Stick with it and eventually you'll see progress and things won't hurt so much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you found it somewhat informational. If you're thinking of getting a guitar, definitely shop around. Uh, what I did personally was would try one out, especially acoustic. I'd walk around, try some others that were in my price range, and I would just wait and see which one felt comfortable to me and also stayed in tune. Uh, other than that, Stick around, definitely, definitely. If you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please click down here. Don't forget to ring the bell. You'll be notified when the next video in the series comes out. Remember to be amazing. Practice, practice, practice. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Also, don't forget to go to room6.shop.